Hello, Nomads Cult, and this is a video about the update news of version 179. Okay, so here is uh, the change log. You can read it. Um, for the important things here, for the Boolean option here, uh, I made a separate video and other things are only bug fixes and so on. But I make my own uh, notes uh, what changed. Um, so here I have to yeah, look um, what changed to version 178 and I show you here in Nomad's card. So, <clears throat> okay, so I create a clear scene, delete everything and so here when you add a primitive here here is now the the head the base mesh here of mess from Stella. thank you very much and when you press on it you get a you get a base mesh so not inspect here you can use multi-resolution on it and you get nice UV maps and so on. And uh, important is here um, at the layers menu, you also have here um, a female layer. So you can make it visible. So here you can change with a slider between a female and a male base mesh. So um, when you're happy with your female character, you can um, delete the, the layer, not delete the layer, you can merge down the layer, sorry. I go a step back here, this option here, merge down. And now you have the, the female character. Okay, this is point one. So I have to look what's the next thing. Um, paint and alf alpha and drag. Okay, so a nice thing is um, here when you use here, um, for example, the stamp brush and here is the alpha menu. So <laughs> yeah, it's too fast. So at the moment um, in older versions, you have to search your alpha image. Here, so I close this window and I open it and here you, uh, you see uh, now your selected alpha is in the focus of the, yeah, of the um, explorer here. Okay, you don't have to search it. This is very nice and makes it much more easier to find your alpha image. So the next thing here is here the painting option. Here is now um, it's draggable. So and here you see here's a pin. You can pin it. So you can bring your uh, menu here now in this position and here select the paint brush. So you can now paint and uh, select the other color. What do you like? So this is a nice thing here to to get uh, faster the color. Um, ah, here is my, ah, you can hide, hide it. Ah, this is nice, okay. You can make it smaller, okay. So the pin option is really nice. Okay, that's it. Next thing. Yes, this is a bullshit. Boolean operations, I made a separate video. So now the, um, 
sorry. Um, when you create here, this is a tube tool, default tube tool. I only added a, a other uh, icon for it. So here there are nicer handles here to to adjust the thing when you um, yeah here when you change the twist and here the handles are much better to to grab this is a new feature so yeah okay so the next thing is here give opacity <coughs> yeah here when you um in the debug menu i think it's um interface gif turntable okay here is a new option here transparent background so um, when you select this um, i think the um, the gif uh, gets a transparent background let's see what happens yes Yeah, it's now with transparent background. Nice. So what's the next thing? Stroke spacing, move objects. Um, okay. So with the uh, older versions, so let's yeah, select the brush and change uh, to other alpha. And change the stroke spacing. So here we can see it a little bit better, I think. And we need more topology. So here you see, you see that nice. So in older versions, this um, doesn't work here um, with a stroke. So you get here distortions and um, yeah, it. So when you brush here along like this, and here here you see it a little bit at this position. But the other positions now work real fine. So it's a big difference. Okay. <coughs> I think this is um, snap, post processes, layer, render, silhouette, interface, death masking, boolean, curve. Yeah. So let's see what's the next point. For the edge masking, I made a separate video uh, carve. Here you see um, the old carve, and this is a new carve. Um, <coughs> so, when you press now, carve sorry I think we have to do it in positive so sorry this is without smoothing and when you use smoothing and carve the whole thing Yeah, the edges at the ground are better. So when you clear the mask here, 
I think here with a wireframe on you see here the, um, the um, here the edges are also smoothed. In the old version these edges were not smoothed. So this is new and here the brush settings, uh, sharp edges and death, death masking here are fixed. Boolean hollow out, 3D connection with. Um, hey, there's a new dithering option. So, <coughs> um, I delete everything here and I add a plane. Okay. So I rotate the plane in the front view and we need more topology. So we can set the whole um, the whole thing to un unlit. Um, so you get a, a wide canvas and also the background um, to a pure black background. And when you now use here the, the paintbrush, we need the color. And we paint with pure black. So let's paint something like this. Okay, so snap it to the front view and here in the post-processing settings here, um, turn everything off. And you find here a new option, dithering here. So dither pixels to reduce banding artifacts. So dithering on, dithering off, uh, you don't see um, much. So at the, um, in the rendering here, so use the square option and export the PNG. and save the image. <clears throat> so When you use now the stamp here and choose your your new alpha, this is the alpha I created. You see here. you get here a clean alpha. So okay. And when you use the same thing here, I go a few steps back and Use the post processing settings and uh, use a checkbox here for dithering. And you export this um, also as a PNG.
So, and you change now the alpha. I import it again, and now here with dithering. And now, sorry, I turn it off. Post processing. Yeah, you get a grainy, grainy surface here. Um, I hope you see it. This is a dithering. So, yeah. So let's uh, change back the alpha here to the other one. And here you see nothing. So yeah, that's it. Um, not like this. Okay. What's the next thing? Uh, tube stroke spacing here. Here when you choose the tube tool, um, you can now here, yeah, here in the stroke settings here, it's possible to um, use the lazy rope stabilis stabil <laughs> stabilizer sorry, and stroke smoothing. So um, here now when you um, create a curve, you see here there are nicer curves possible. So this is this option and okay. Yeah, color. So I create a, a sphere validated front. And here in the, here for the trim tool, it's now possible um, to select the, the color for the trim, like this. And let's use a little bit of higher resolution and yeah trim here apart so now your surface is trimmed so at the moment here you see the trim creates um, a boolean thing here and when you change here the resolution It creates a nicer surface here. So trim with color. I think that's all at the moment. So have fun with sculpting and ciao.